Hi, I'm Mitch Shoemaker and today is day 20 of my doing 100 days of YouTube videos and focusing on recognizing God's hand in my life. Um, and today I am making the video from my parents' house, so I have a different background. Apologize if it's a little busy. <laughs> Found the like least amount of stuff on the wall to make a video with, where I don't have to hold the phone because I just can't hold it long enough to make a video. But I am grateful that I can make videos and I am grateful that I feel like God is teaching me things today. Um, different perspectives, new ways to look at my life. And um, today I read my scriptures and meditationals and then I did some writing afterwards and I wrote for like a page and a half, which I don't normally write that much, but um, it was mostly just me learning, feeling like I'm being instructed and um, reminding myself once again that I, I need to do things um, a little bit differently, that I can't force myself to do things and I have to wait for the right timing of things. <laughs> and, um, so I thought that was kind of a, an interesting thing that even, you know, I get stubborn. I consider myself, when I get stubborn, I think I get stupid because I make stupid decisions when I'm being stubborn. And so when other people try to tell me what to do, I get really stubborn and I just dig my heels in and don't do things. And I've noticed apparently I do that with myself too, when I think I need to do something or have to do something and try to force myself to, to do something when I'm not ready. I, I do the same thing to myself and I get in my own way. So I was kind of learning about that today. And then, um, Tonight, uh, Dad Shoemaker was sharing some um, some stories and something, a different perspective about how to think of things because I was like, don't beat yourself up for making a mistake. He's like, not about beating yourself up. It's about learning. Like, what's it going to take to make that change? And I'd never looked at it that way, but he asked me the question, like, if you took my hand and tried to stick it on a, a burner, would I resist or, you know, like a hot burner that was turned on Would I resist or would I let him touch it? I'm like, I would totally resist. It would not be easier for him to do that. And he's like, why? What experience have you had in your life that's made you not want to do that? And I remember when I was a kid, I stuck my hand on something and it was a, a grill or something. <laughs> Third degree burn on my wrist. Um, no scars, thankfully, but um, I still remember that. I don't really remember the pain of it or anything. Just, you know, I don't even remember what I touched other than something hot. So. <laughs> But I know that our body holds on to those memories and it's there to teach us to not do it again. So then he asked the question, like if you've done something wrong or if you're trying to make a change, how can you, what does it, what's it gonna take to not ever do that again? To not ever make that mistake again? What, what lesson do you still need to learn? <laughs> what consequence has to be there in order to not do that again? Um, and I, I'd never, looked at it that way. I never thought of it that way. I mean, I know we learn from our mistakes, but it never occurred to me that in, in recognizing a mistake or recognizing that I've done something more than once and I'm struggling to let it go. It's like, I'd never asked myself the question, what, what's it going to take to make that change? And, um, I'm not sure I know the answer to that, to make all the changes that I want to make in my life, but it's given me something to think and, um, a different way to, to look at things. So when I'm struggling with something, or frustrated with not being able to make changes or not being able to let go of bad habits or something to ask that question what's it going to take what's what's going to make it so i never want to do that thing again or what's it going to take so that i'm willing to take the risk to do that positive thing to make that change and um it just made me really grateful that god is in my life and aware of me and teaching me um things through other people and through the spirit and just things that I can learn and recognize and just a different way, a different perspective to think of things like in a more gentle way, like a learning way, instead of a, you know, beating myself up and thinking I'm a horrible person because I can't, I can't make changes or I can't force a situation. And so I'm just, I'm really grateful for the lessons that I'm learning and that God is putting in my life for me to learn and the people that I have in my life to learn from. And um, just really grateful for that today. And that's all I have for today. So if you like these videos, you can hit like, subscribe, or share with someone else if you think they'll like them too. And I hope you have a great day full of gratitude and find some ways to recognize God's hand in your life too.